what's going on guys how you doing i'm back again with another unboxing for you today we have the gk61 with some gatoron blue switches as you can see here this is how it comes uh packaged you get the case the switches you have to order separately but you get the case i got the white version of the case uh, got some good weight to it uh, the manual is also in English and in Chinese, I believe, um, shows you a couple different versions of the board. Uh, minimal flex, build quality is very, very good. Um, uh, I was quite surprised, actually, by how good the build quality was. Uh, Type-C port on the left side of the case. Uh, has an aluminium mounting plate, uh, very solid. Like I said, there's like no flex there. Has a matte finish on the case, on um, the bottom and the sides. But the bezeled edges are actually gloss, um, which gives it some kind of uh, character, I guess. Here is the switch. Inside the box comes a USB Type C braided cable, which was very surprising, and a plastic keycap puller. Don't really like those. But uh, the switches, the pins on the switch will get bent on some of them. Just straighten them out. It doesn't mean they're broken. They're completely fine. Just straighten them out. Also, do not force the switches into the mounting, uh, into the PCB or mounting plate. Uh, you don't have to apply much force and they go in. If you have to apply a lot of force, chances are a pin is just bent. So just go back, straighten it out. Also, if a switch isn't working later on, just pull it out and um, you just straighten the pin. Um, it is a hot swappable keyboard as you can see now i have red switches this is a month later uh i've got i made a makeshift foam insert to put inside the case to help with uh, dampening the sound um you can literally use like pretty much anything this um and, and it does the job but here's the the end product of the keyboard i went with the red switches in the end uh, because i didn't really like the blue switches very rattly and loud and i just prefer a smooth linear switch hence the red switch i also lubed the switches and the stabs uh the only problem is on the right side of the space bar there's some rattle when i press on the right side of the space bar it doesn't affect me because i never use the right side of the space bar anyway but just for they um you guys know i think that might just be a defect on my one specifically i haven't seen anyone have that issue but yeah wonderful keyboard with um these keycaps these keycaps is two different sets of keycaps and together it was about 27 pounds and uh let me tell you guys now this keyboard um hence i mean being lubed and modded i, I say you can get uh, you can say it is one of the best keyboards i've felt in a in a very long time i mean i haven't felt a lot of mechanical keyboards but it is amazing in terms of typing experience and gaming experience it is miles above uh, the Ducky 12 SF SF that I have, um, which was very surprising to me. This is now my primary keyboard. Um, I will link all the parts down below. So the case, uh, I mean the, the keyboard kit, the keycaps, and the lube that I used um, for this build. Um, but yeah, like I said, man, this is an amazing, amazing board. Um, I was actually quite surprised. The RGB is amazing. Um, it's true RGB, which is. Uh, which is a plus it's not just you know uh, seven different colors um this keyboard is amazing it feels amazing it sounds amazing and i recommend everyone get this this keyboard all together with the lube with the keycaps with the key uh with the with the kit with the switches is all 108 pounds now it is a little bit pricey because you have to add into account the lube the extra keycaps I got two sets of keycaps so that's more expensive you can obviously go for a cheaper alternative use some old keycaps or just buy one set of some cheap keycaps these keycaps are actually cheap but surprisingly feel amazing um they feel better than some of the nicer keycaps i have uh which is uh, strange to me but um they they do the job and it looks wonderful and it feels wonderful so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did do me a favor and just drop a like i would really appreciate it if you didn't dislike it i'm gonna end it out on the sound test for you guys but once again thanks for coming by uh and i'll see you guys in the next one